As you can see, I have the Essentials mod working in Minecraft 1.20.4. I could host the world, have everything that the Essential mods provide you with, like the wardrobe as well. I'm going to teach you how to install this mod real quick. Let's get started. Now, the first step for downloading and installing Essentials, well, it's downloading Essential. And for that, you're going to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Essentials. You even have an index in here, so you can move around through the guide. This is an in-depth guide with the screenshots and all the text you will need. However, if you just want to follow along, all you have to do is click on download right here. I'll redirect it to the Essential website. Now in here, I want you to pay pretty close attention, okay? You have multiple options for downloading Essentials once you are in the Essential website. For example, if you have Forge installing your computer as a mod loader, you could scroll down and download the Forge version. However, Forge, the one version for Forge for Essentials hasn't been updated to 1.20.4 yet. If you have Fabric and you want to add Essentials to your Fabric mod loader, you could download it in here as a mod and add it to your mod folder. It's that simple. If you already have a mod loader installed, and we have videos on the channel on how to install both of these, you could just download the mod and add it to your mods folder and Essentials will be working, okay? Super simple. However, if you want to install Essentials by itself in the simplest way, you just download the installer, okay? You just click where it says installer and you could even do this for Mac. And then you just launch the installer, you create a new profile, you click next, you select it how you want it in here, you name it, whatever you want, and then you click create. And that is the easiest way to install Essentials. Now you will have Essential install and you could just open your Minecraft launcher and you will have Essential. That is like the easiest way if you just want to do Essentials by itself. However, in this tutorial, we are going to install Essential for Fabric because we want to do it for Minecraft 1.20.4. So we're going to do it for Fabric and I'm going to show you how to do that. Go ahead and click where it says Fabric. Just to scroll down once you're here and click on 1.20.4. And that will start the download for the mod for Fabric 1.20.4. Let me make my browser a little bit smaller and drag my file to the desktop. Now that we have the Essential mod, like I said, if you already have Fabric installed, you could drag this to your mods folder. However, I'm assuming that most of you don't have Fabric installed. I'm going to show you how to install Fabric in a second. All you have to do is click on that third link in the description, which is again a written guide on how to download and install Fabric. Let's scroll down and click on the download button. It might look like this or it might look like a purple button. Just click on it, click download. That'll redirect you over here and then click download universal jar. And that'll begin the download for the Fabric installer. Go ahead and drag and drop the Fabric installer to your desktop. Now we're also going to download the Fabric API just because the Fabric API is going to allow a bunch of mods to work with Fabric without your Minecraft game crashing. Click on the fourth link in the description. It's going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install the Fabric API. Same thing in here. You can read through the guide. However, if you just want to follow along real quick, click download Fabric API here. And then once you're here on this website, look for 1.20.4 right here. And then click on this little three dots and click download file. We have guides on the channel on how to do this, how to install Fabric. So it shouldn't be hard. Once you downloaded the Fabric API, let's wait for this blue line to go away. You're going to drag and drop it into your desktop and hopefully there we go. It's ready now. And now that you have these three things, you are ready to start setting up everything. The first thing you want to do is make sure your Minecraft launcher is closed and that you have played Minecraft 1.20.4 at least once in your computer. Once you make sure that you have done all those steps, double click on the Fabric installer, which is going to open the Fabric installer, of course, right here. As you can see, Minecraft version 1.20.4 it's already selected and now you will click install and wait for fabric to install and fabric actually installs super quick go ahead and click on ok close this installer and then just delete the fabric installer because we don't need it anymore now we have the fabric api and the essentials for fabric what we're gonna do now is launch our minecraft launcher quick message from our sponsor look if you're trying to play minecraft with friends the essential mod is great but what's even better is having a server that is open 24 7 because the essential mod will allow your friends to play with you but only when you are on and when you open that specific world. However, if you want to have a world or a server that is open 24-7 that your friends could join even if you're offline, then Apex Hosting is the best servers for you. Not only they offer a bunch of advantages, but you could also control the server console through your phone. So that means you could be at Walmart and you could kick people out of the server, change the settings, OP people, change the weather, whatever you want to do through the server console. And, and if you use the first link in the description right now, you'll get 25% off. And this is for those of you that use the first link in the description from this channel. Anyways, that is Apex Hosting. Let's get back into the tutorial. And now that our Minecraft launcher is open, if we install Fabric properly, we should see selected add-on automatically down here. Head over to installations, make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected, you won't see the fabric loader. Find your fabric loader that we just installed and click on this little folder that appears right next to it. 
that is going to open a folder with a lot of files, as you can see here. And now you're looking for a specific folder called MODS, mods. You're looking for the mods folder. Now, you might not have this folder, and all you have to do if you don't have this folder is right click, click new, click folder, and name that folder MODS. You could create the mods folder yourself. However, I do have it, and I already have a couple mods in here, but it shouldn't be an issue. What you're going to do once you open that mods folder, right? Once you open your mod folder, yours is probably empty, okay? Don't get confused with me having mods. This is something else. All you have to do is drag and drop the mods that we just downloaded, the Fabric API and the Essential Fabric. Now, I already have the Fabric API in there, so I'm just gonna add the Essential Fabric because I already have the Fabric API and it is the same version. As you can see, it's the 0.95.1. I already have it in here. Anyways, once you added the Essential Fabric and the Fabric API into your mods folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher and click play fabric loader, click play right next to it. It might prompt you with a little sign saying, are you sure you want to run modern Minecraft, etc." Just click that you understand and then click play and let's wait for the game to open. And once our Minecraft game has opened, as you can see, we have a bunch of different things in here. And that is because we have the essential mod installed. As you can see, we host the world, we have social, which means that we could add friends. And if we head over to single player, I'm gonna just open my creative world that I use for the guides in here. Let's wait for this to load. And by the way, you could always just create a server, which is going to be a little bit better for you and your friends using the first link in the description. Now that the world is opening, let's wait for that to open. As you can see, we're here and we are using the replay mod, which we made a video on how to use the replay mod to record your gameplay. Anyways, once you're in a world, if you press escape and you head over to invite, this world will be turned online, okay? Uh, we're gonna put do not show the warning signs again. And as you can see in here, it's telling you your host IP address will be visible through network logs. That's why I recommend that you use a service like Apex Hosting so your IP address doesn't get exposed and bad things don't happen to you, which is not going to happen, okay, necessarily. If you only invite people to your world that you trust and they're your friends, nothing bad should happen, right? But if you're inviting strangers to your world using the Essentials mod, I'd rather just create a server, okay? I think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and click on Proceed. And as you can see now, a server has been made. We could change the difficulty. We're gonna leave it in Creative. Difficulty, Peaceful, um, Cheats. Let's allow them, why not? And then let's click Next. And here are the people you could invite. These are my friends. And then you click done and your friends could join if they are already in the game and they have essentials installed. Anyways, guys, that has been everything for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.